everybody uh welcome to this episode in this episode i'm going to be going over that is extremely important at least in my eyes and it has to do with children's oral health um as always i'm not a dentist i'm not a doctor uh what i do have is just 10 years plus experience when it comes to teaching patients about their treatment plan um what the doctor diagnosed what it was that potentially got them into the situation that they're in right now what the doc the dentist has to do is going to do to get them out of the the situation and more importantly what they can do from here on in the future to prevent themselves from falling into that situation again uh, so without further ado child oral health now child oral health is a really big subject um there are a lot of people that know that they should take their kids to the to the dentist um but a lot of other people primarily in uh like a lot of third world countries and stuff like that um, mostly because of misinformation, are very neglectful of a child's tooth. And primarily the reason why is because they have, when, when a child has their baby teeth, they think, oh, well, they lose their teeth, it's fine, their adult teeth is going to come out. And that is true, but it is very bad to think that way. Um, and the reason why is because your baby teeth have a very important function. And the important function that they have is that the baby teeth are in place to guide the adult teeth um, to where they're supposed to be. So it, you need to take extra care of your baby teeth because uh, a parent, especially a parent not taking care of a child's baby teeth when they're a baby, um, can lead to very expensive and costly uh, repairs when they turn into adults. And obviously... There you you know you go also into self esteem situations because you know kids then at that point they go into high school and they don't like the way they look and they fear that their friends are gonna make fun of them and so on and so forth. So to prevent that and more, more again more than anything prevent uh, help your pockets from suffering, you want to take care of a, of a child's baby teeth. In addition to that, you by you taking care of a child's baby teeth, you're also educating them on how to take care of their teeth, which leads into them being adults and taking care of their teeth and then them teaching their children successively how to take care of their teeth and in the long run saving thousands potentially even tens of thousands of dollars on on their oral health and it's something that's something that you want to really focus on as you turn into an adult because you have a lot of other more important expenses granted i don't mind you coming over and me having to take care of you <laughs> but in the but again i my my role in this is to prevent these things from happening because I want you to be happy and I want you to enjoy life to the best of your abilities. Um, so when, a, when is the best time to take a kid to the dentist when they're newborns, you, a dentist does not to see, does not have to see a tooth on a baby to be able to determine, um, if a child is doing good or if there's something wrong, because you can get a lot of other things checked out at the dentist that, it has nothing to do with the teeth. For example, their gum. Their a dentist can check a child's a baby's gum health. They can check um, their jawbone to see how it's it's healing up. Well, not healing up, but how it's growing. If there might be potentially any deformities, um, you could also they could also check the two baby tooth routes because not all baby teeth sometimes they don't come out the way they're supposed to come out. Um, so a, a lot of these things can be done before the baby teeth even come even come out. Um, after that. Obviously, when the child's teeth come out, then they can. Then you take your child to the dentist, and the dentist, um, even a, even a child dentist, uh, somebody you, you want to look for somebody who's good with children, um, because not all dentists have are, are good with children. The same way not all dentists are good with older people. Everybody, you know, everybody has their niche. Some people are good with certain things. Some people are not. Um, so you want to make sure that the dentist that you go to, your children are comfortable with, more important than anything, and you are comfortable with it as well. Um, and they can teach your child how to brush their teeth, how to use mouthwash, how to floss. Um, or you can go to the hygienist and they can do the exact same thing. And then when, and then as they get older, they go and get their regular cleanings as children. Um, it's there. And, you know, when you're home, you make sure that they, that they take care and they brush their teeth. And then for parents that have newborns um, or toddlers, please, please, please. I understand as a man who has three children that sometimes it gets late you get tired you want your child to go to sleep and then you will give in to their uh to their tantrums 
and give them a bottle of milk, and give them a juice before they go to sleep, and they go to sleep with the bottle. You need to stop. You need to stop, stop, stop doing that. That is very, very dangerous for the child's teeth and the health of their teeth. It is a major cause for cavities on a baby's teeth, and it causes a lot of decay on a baby's tooth. Um, I wish I could tell you how many patients I have that come with children, and their children's teeth are just destroyed um and 90 i'm being i'm being uh pessimistic 98 percent just leave a one percent thing there is because the child at home when they go to sleep they either sleep with a bottle in their mouth or they have uh or they have a a, a sippy cup with juice in it and they go to sleep with that and what happens is that your milk juices they all have sugar and that sugar sits in the child's mouth the residual when they're sleeping and it insanely causes cavities and the funny thing is that i can potentially tell which side a child is sleeping on depending on which side has more cavities <laughs> because i can tell you your child sleeps mostly on the right side how do you know that because all their cavities are on the right side and they have none on their left so, and they're like oh really? i was like yes you need and and it's funny because when i see these the first thing i tell the patient the first thing i tell the parents um, so that way they don't feel, they don't feel like I'm attacking them because I know as a parent, you're, you're, you want advice as much as possible, but you don't want to receive advice because then you feel offended because you feel like you're not being a good parent. So normally what I do is that I tell the patient, I tell the parents, not the patient because the patient's not going to understand. They can, they don't care. <laughs> They're just a kid. They want their bottles and their sippy cups. Um, a parent, what I tell a parent is when your child is going to sleep, make sure that they don't go to sleep with the bottle in their mouth or make sure that they don't go to sleep with a sippy cup and if they are thirsty feed them drink give them only water and they go oh wow i didn't know that I didn't. and it's you know because i didn't tell them hey you need to you know are you giving your son you shouldn't be doing that you're a bad parent no i'm not attacking them i'm just i'm giving them information that they need to know because honestly most people don't know i didn't know when i first had my kids thank god i didn't do that um but there's just a lot of parents that do that and and it needs to stop because it is not healthy for the longevity of the children's teeth. And if a baby tooth goes bad, then there are such things as baby root canals, which are expensive. They're not as expensive as adult ones, but they are expensive. Um, and it is a lot easier to treat your child at a dental practice than it is to treat an adult. And you want to pre you you want to prevent these things from happening because it could lead to you know trauma as they get into adults. And then as they get into adults and they become traumatic, they become scared of going to the dentist. Then it leads to other problems because they'll have a cavity, they'll have periodontal disease, and it's... And it's, it's really bad because what could be something very easy to take care of can turn into a big problem and then they're not happy. Um, and in most situations when it comes to that, it's it's normally when I was a teenager, when I was a kid, I had a really bad experience at the dentist. I had this and that and, you know, then and now they don't want to go to the dentist. So teach your children how to brush their teeth, prevent them from going to sleep with a bottle with an, or a sippy cup. If they're thirsty, give them water. Um, as a parent, if they're not, if they don't, if they don't, if they want to juice or milk and they're not going to drink water, then they're not thirsty. Put them to sleep. They will cry. You need to endure it because it's only temporary. And then they go to sleep. And then eventually they'll get used to the fact that they can't fall asleep with a bottle and they will fall asleep or the only option they have is water and they will fall asleep. And if you want to give them juice or milk, then give it to them, take them to the bathroom, have them brush their teeth. Use their mouth wash and then put them to bed. But do not put them to sleep with a sippy cup or a bottle in their mouth. Please save yourself the aggravation, save yourself the expense, and save your kid's mouth. Going back into the extraction of a baby's tooth, you you want to prevent extracting a baby's tooth at all costs. That's why you want to take care of them and prevent these things from happening, to, from getting into that point. Um, but unless a baby's tooth cannot be saved... For any reason and it has to be extracted because there's an infection and stuff then you you know you have to do it it's obviously that you have to speak to your dentist um and if you want to get a second opinion you're always welcome to getting a second opinion you but you want to prevent these things from happening because like i said before when a baby's tooth gets extracted what happens is that now the adult tooth has no guide has no idea where it has to go and what that means is that an adult tooth can literally come out from any in any location um, if it's in the bottom, 
if it's, in, if it's one of your lower teeth, then it could potentially come out from underneath your tongue. It can come on the side from the back. It can come forward. If it's one of your top teeth, it can come from the palliative portion of your mouth, um, underneath your mouth. It can come forward. It can come to the back. You know, if you're lucky, it comes out straight. It can might it might come out twisted or curved, um, because it has no guide. It has no idea where it's going. And that's the main reason for why you want to keep your kids' teeth in their mouth, and why you shouldn't think that, well, they have another set of teeth coming out. They are not sharks. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, we only have one extra set of teeth, but it does not mean that we should ignore our baby teeth. Um, so that's primarily it in terms of um, the oral health of children. Again, it is extremely important for you to take care of your children's teeth and to teach them how to take care of their teeth. Because again, you're saving yourself thousands, potentially tens of thousands of dollars. You're saving your child thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, and you're saving your grandchildren thousands and tens of thousands of, of dollars. It is a really good thing. Uh, it's a really good habit to get into, both for you and for your children. Um, so again, as always, flourish and prosper, and have a good day.